Hello, uh, I'm Jerry Feldman uh, from George Washington University in Washington, D.C. And uh, I would like to take a few minutes to tell you about uh, a collaborative group learning classroom that we have at George Washington University uh, that I hope will be of interest to many people. Um, we use a, a pedagogical approach called Scale Up. Scale Up stands for Student Centered Active Learning Environment for Undergraduate Programs. This was developed at North Carolina State University. And the main point is to convert a standard lecture class into a collaborative group, group learning classroom. Uh, the key point is that the students are always doing something. The students are always working on guided exercises in the classroom. And uh, they are not sitting in a large lecture hall, passively listening to a professor uh, speak about the material for an hour or two or three hours. Uh, I think a key point of uh, scale up is to get away from content delivery, which is a typical lecture, and to move more towards skill development, problem solving skills, uh, developing conceptual understanding, and uh, as I said, of essentially having the students always doing something uh, in terms of guided exercises by the instructor. Um, part of the logic of this is that my expertise, I would argue, as a professor is better utilized as a, a coach or a facilitator in this collaborative classroom working with the students in real time as opposed to standing there transmitting the information to them that is already in their textbook. So uh, in order to do this scale up pedagogy, you really do need the students to come to class prepared in advance. And uh, they do that by essentially reading the book. You may have some exercises online before class to uh, ensure that they have read the book and that they are in fact prepared to come to class for the exercises of uh, that day. Um, and then uh, we have exercises in the classroom. Students work in groups of three. Uh, in our case, they sit at tables with nine students. So you have three groups of three, but essentially they work as a triplet on, again, guided exercises that are put on the screen by me, the instructor, uh, conceptual exercises or numerical problems that they work on together. Every group has a small whiteboard, a whiteboard that is maybe uh, two feet by three feet in dimension. And they have markers and they work together. And when a problem is finished, they hold up their whiteboard and they report to the rest of the class their solution. And uh, each class, every group has one opportunity or another to report their, uh, their solutions to problems. Uh, you don't have every group report every single problem. And then you move on to the next problem. The instructor gets a very good handle on how well the students know the material, how um, they can solve the problem or answer the conceptual question. And uh, if everyone does fine, you move on. If everyone is not doing well and there is a, an issue, then you can sit and discuss it with them. So the point is not that the instructor doesn't speak in the classroom. Obviously, I do speak. But I just don't broadcast a whole lecture full of information. But a lot of information comes out anyway in the discussions with students. Um, during the exercises, I and teaching assistants wander around the room monitoring their progress. And uh, we can help them at the moment in real time. Um, and again, I think that's the key, that my expertise in physics is much better utilized as this coach or instructor uh, helping the students who are working on the problems rather than simply re reading the book to them, as it is more or less in a standard lecture. Um, the students are very active. Uh, they like this kind of uh, approach. Um, even though they have to come in advance prepared, which isn't really asking too much. They have exercises at home, of course, regular homework problems after. And, um, you know, the classroom environment is, is much more dynamic than a standard lecture that is extremely passive. Um, classes that have laboratories, uh, lab experiments, 
uh, in scale up the lab experiments are integrated into the classroom so there is not a separate lab um, uh, the classroom activities and the laboratory activities are completely uh, uh, integrated together and uh, lab experiments happen at the moment you need them to happen not next week or the week after um, at George Washington University we have adopted this scale-up approach since 2008 and uh, we have a room with uh, 81 students nine tables with nine students each again a group is fundamentally a group of three and uh, we have been doing this um, since 2008 and uh, for us all of our introductory physics courses are in scale-up mode we have completely eliminated the lecture lab format um, our students um, report satisfaction with this approach they like the engagement they like the uh, active learning um, and they feel they come out um, better prepared from the course than they would in a typical uh, lecture environment um, I have uh, I guess the last thing I can say is this past semester uh, this is now uh, we are what July of 2014 I tried this method out at ETH in Zurich with Swiss students uh, in a lecture class uh, I had 54 students and uh, I did this approach with the Swiss students and it was very successful we have taken data to show that the scale-up students do better than the lecture students um, and so there are measurements to show this is more effective the student responses to uh, feedback surveys and evaluations at the end of the semester indicate a high level of satisfaction and um, I would say basically it's a good thing so um, I encourage uh, uh, people's interest in this and uh, I think it's better for the students and I hope I've uh, given you some insights into how scale up and the collaborative group learning approach really works and um, um, why I like it okay thanks very much